and welcome to yet another useful tutorial today we will be teaching you how you can resize an uploaded image while maintaining its aspect ratio first of all I'm just going to create a simple form that will allow me to select a file from my computer just one input field so I can select the file and one simple button to submit the form now I'm just going to create another file named resize.php Okay, so now uh, you can see you can that uh, that's just created a simple form. Now I'm just going to write the code. First of all, I just have to tell the dimension that will be needed. So let's say I set it to 300. The second, I have to set the file name. I'm storing it in a separate variable because it it's going to be used in in many times. Now I'm going to get the size of image which can be easily get by get image size function and I'm going just going to pass the file name variable variable. Now I have to get the original width and height of image which can be easily get by image size zero index will uh, represent the width and one index will represent the height. So now I'm just going to get the actual aspect ratio of image which can be easily get by dividing the width by its height now to resize according to its aspect ratio we just have to create uh, we just have to put one simple uh, condition if the aspect ratio is greater than one then the new width will be same as dimension i'm going to name it new width is equal to dimension and new height will be dimension divided by its original aspect ratio and if the aspect ratio is less than 1 then the new height will be same as the dimension and new width can be will be the dimension multiplied by its original aspect ratio now i just have to create two separate objects one for source object uh, source image and second for destination image first i'm going to create a, a source object i'm going to call the function image create from string and i'm going to get the content of image which can be get by file uh, get uh, file get contents and pass the file name variable now I, now I have to create the destination object which can be created by image create true color and it will create an empty image I just have to pass the new width and height of, uh, variables now I have to resize the image which can be which can be done by image copy resampled function it has many parameters the first is the destination which is still now an empty image the second one is the source then we have to tell the dimensions of destiny uh, sorry the position which will be 0 x and y will be 0 source and x y x and y will be 0 and destination width will which will be new width and destination height will be new height and the source height will be simple uh, sorry source width will be simple width variable and height will be simple height variable 
now the image has been resized now i just have to create the image which can be created by image pn uh, image png function i just have to pass two parameters the first will be the destination image and the second will be file name the user uploaded file now I, i'm just going to destroy these two objects that i have just created destroying the source object and destroying the destination object now i i can just save the resized image in here which can be saved by move uploaded file and i just have to pass the file name and the destination i am just assuming that we will be saving the actual file name so i just do this save permission denied Now the image should be saved and as you can see this is the image and if I check its information you can see the image has been resized by 300 by 300. You can also display the image on web browser. You just have to create an image HTML object and set its source, source attribute same as this file name you can see the image has been resized 300 by 300 you can check in many dimensions for example if I set it to 800 and then I submit the form you can see the image has now been resized 800 by 800 but the aspect ratio is maintained so that's all if you face any problem you can you can uh, if you face any problem you can just put it down in the comment section below and thank you very much